Moment of truth here. Teen drivers have to take their driving tests. It's the 80 questions. It's a test that they usually take to get their learner's permit. While they don't actually give out the actual test, I was able to take the practice test. A three second following distance permits a driver to break out of problems at speeds under 45, 65, or 55 miles per hour. Do you know the answer? Because I did not. And that's not the only one I missed. I got 51 out of 80. I'm pretty sure I failed. Yeah, okay, so you needed a 56 out of 80 to pass, which would have been a 70%. Aisha Headwood is the owner of Wheel to Drive Driving School. Headwood says questions pertaining to math or science are typically the ones test takers get wrong, considering these are things that we do in real time. Test aside, she says there are three things people tend to overlook while hitting the road. The first, forgetting to check all your mirrors. Sometimes drivers, they'll check one or two places and not all three. So ideally, we want to make sure with any lane change that we are checking our rear view mirror, our appropriate side view mirror, and then glancing over that same shoulder just to be sure that there's no traffic there that we didn't see. When you do make those lane shifts, signaling is something that not only helps other drivers, but you. We want to make sure that we're signaling early in advance, at least a half a block away when we get ready to make a turn or change lanes, just so that others know our intentions and it gives them time to prepare and react to the situation. And the last one might not surprise you. Number one is always excessive speed. First Lieutenant Mike Shaw with Michigan State Police says speeding is the top factor leading to crashes here in Metro Detroit. During the pandemic, speeding has been up. Headwood says if you notice yourself passing other cars, it's a good indication that you need to slow down. Otherwise, you might end up paying for those mistakes. It's not really the ticket that's part of it. It's more of that's the last kind of form of education that a, a police officer can actually provide. Now, one interesting takeaway that I learned from First Lieutenant Mike Shaw, those Michigan U-turns are only supposed to be one lane and less marked. So if you're the second car pulling up in that Michigan U-turn and you get a crash, you'll get a ticket. Now, back to my test. I know I failed, but one of the questions that I got wrong in my defense is if there's fog, what to do? I put drive carefully, but the right answer was stay home. But in my mind, I'm like, I'm the traffic anchor. I have to get to work. I have to tell people if there's crashes because of the fog. So I don't know if I can be graded on a learning curve. You don't need a learning curve for that. And what do you do if you're at work? Stay home? Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm not at home. I'm trying to stay home. I know, but she did. Hedwin oh. did say just answer the, the questions like overly cautious. So keep that in mind if you're taking the test or you got a team that's taking the test. I <laughs> salute you. Last time I took it, I was 15. I'm sure I wouldn't get 100 now. So thank you, Allie, for yeah. taking you one. You get an right. A in our book. Yes, Aww. indeed. No doubt about it. <laughs> I walked through the, the newsroom when Allie was taking the, the test. Yeah. And I walked by and I said, what are, you, uh, what are you doing? What are you working on? And she said, taking a driving test. I was thinking, I'll, I can keep a secret. That's fine. <laughs> hey, so Allie, um, there's fog outside. What do you do? 